our post loop environment action link, uh, we based 30 kilometers outside of town spread next to the post loop river. Um, we protect the river by controlling alien plants such as lantana, bugweed, uh, jacaranda, uh, which is most common and of the first category of alien plants. You cut the lantana, you put the poison so it doesn't grow again. Yeah, it's, it's uh, quite a strong poison. You, know, you don't want to poison everything, so it's just about chopping them off. And then on the course where you chop them off, you just uh, add poison on top of that. I work along this whole river upstream, just about to the Queen of Dam. Um, a lot of different farm owners that live next to the river that uh, contributes a small fund to uh, the yield of the environment actually. Uh, it's a Section 21 company, a non-profit company, and we, um, we basically take out snares. We survey farms, look for snares, take out snares. And the yield has started in 2001. More than 8,000 snares has been retrieved. This is probably the recently used spot for for this line so far down here. So this is also a very good potential. You see airs on the fence here. And so it's means there's still proper animal activity going through. Yeah, I would guess which be by the tracks here. Yeah? But I see there's also diaper tracks over there. The bushes now not these. That's why they bush. And grass is too big. You don't move nice. In June and July, it's busy for pushing. Why a cable snares is you know, miserable death. It takes several hours for animals to die. Okay, this is a snare that is set for a bush pig. It's got a drag stick, a loose drag stick, which uh, is used because the bush pigs are very strong. Even a cable like this could be broken, snapped just like that. And with a drag stick, they can go for a while, slowly choke. It takes them quite several hours you know, to, to actually pass away or to die. And this is a rather cruel way of hunting. This over here is a snare set for a red diker. They also walk with their heads pretty low, so it's not set high up. The same size of a snare would be used for a grey diker. It would just be a little bit higher up because they walk with their heads up. Right, and they're also not very strong. Uh, I had an incident in Boschkom not too long ago, maybe about four months ago, um, where I saved the red dike out of an exact same snare set exactly like this. What I usually do if I find the snares, I take out the snare sticks, I just break them. When the poacher comes back to either claim his prize or his snare, to relocate it, you'd find my sticks there, which indicates I was there. At the moment, um, poachers, if they get caught either snaring or with um, game meat, then they've got a thousand five hundred rand fine or 150 days in jail. A thousand five hundred rand is not that big of fine, 150 days is not enough for this type of poaching because of the suffering that the animals has got to go through. Baby hippo the size of a, of a pig riding on its back. I've been down there twice subsequently, and you're welcome to go down there yourselves down and have a look. But they, I haven't seen anything very, very shy. But the evening time, they're they, 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 they playing in the, in the pool there. Laura Ann introduced us to Hugh, I think it was, and uh, 
they've been a great help to us and it's definitely I've been in this area for about 17 I've owned this for about 30 years but for 17 the, the years now the game has definitely increased small game and uh, push back lots of red diker uh, it's been a great help to us yes in the reeds there Okay. So it's definitely still a young male caracal. But we found uh, yeah, on the R539 uh, Sudwala Road. Um, it got hit by a car just a minute before we got to it and um, as a result from all the snares that we take out there's a lot more animals and uh, um, you know, from all the people rushing on this road you know, going 100 kilometers an hour that is the speed limit you know, but it's still too fast especially around the corners Chairman of York. We met Isaac and John Bissett. So and we saw a hippo part of Did you see one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>